Lincoln Ragsdale was a Tuskegee Airman who was based out at Luke. Seeing the opportunities that existed out here after the Second World War, he moved out to Phoenix in 1947. He eventually married Eleanor Dickey. She was a school teacher, and they were the first African-American family to cross the color line in housing in Phoenix when they moved from East Lake Park over near North Encanto Park. The Ragsdales were some of the most prominent black investors in the Valley. Lincoln Ragsdale was an incessant entrepreneur. So not only did he have his mortuary business, but he also opened an ambulance company. He had a life insurance firm. He also opened the Century Sky Room, which was a club on East Washington Street. And eventually he dabbled in real estate, working with other black entrepreneurs and land developers such as Travis Williams to build homes and open housing for African-Americans communities across the valley. Lincoln Ragsdale was well known for his civil rights activism. He worked very closely with uh, George Brooks, president of the NAACP during the 1960s to help desegregate Phoenix. The sit-ins, the marches, and the protests that were occurring during this time enabled the city of Phoenix to desegregate its public accommodations prior to the federal Civil Rights Act of 1964. In this sense, due to their activities, Phoenix was seen as on the cutting edge in many ways of civil rights uh, legislation during the 1960s.